G'day everyone, it's another windy spring day here in northeast Victoria and I'm going yabbying in this dam. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now I've got my yabby nets here, I've got my two homemade bait traps. And I've got them baited with some venison offcuts in that one. And this one's got a little bit of venison offcut and some uh, guts and gills and stuff out of some fish that I caught. I think they might be from a trout that I caught at Lake, a couple of trout that I caught at Lake William Hovel. Anyway, I'm going to put these nets in now, then I'm going to go away and come back later on this evening and check them. There's a bit of old farm fencing out there. I've got to try and get this out past those reeds. Perfect. Right, net number two can go up this end of the dam. Gotta clear those, uh, that ribbon weed. Ugh. That'll do. Right, I just went and got some sticks, one for each net, stuck them in the mud. Because it's so windy, I don't want to come back and find my float out there in the middle of the dam. Anyway, I'm actually heading off to go walking with a friend. After we go for a walk, I'll come back here later on this evening and check them and see whether I've caught any abbeys. Righto, it's, uh, it's only been in, the net's been in for a couple of hours, it's not sunset yet, so if there's nothing in here now, I won't be disheartened, because I'm going to leave it in all night. What have we got? Can't see through all the weeds. <laughs> nothing. About four kilograms of ribbon weed, that's what I've got. Right, I throw the net back in here past the ribbon weed. Rightio, net number two. There's nothing in net number one, and it looks like there's nothing in net number two either. I'm gonna have to leave them in for the night and see if, uh, see if that makes any difference. Ribbon weed is certainly a problem. Righto, net number two can go back out there. Right, well the first check of the nets was unsuccessful, so I'm going to leave them in now, come back and check them in the morning. Hopefully they're a little bit more active during the night. Right, it's the morning after, I come back to check the nets, but on the way in just then, a couple of wood ducks took off from here, right under my feet, so I've come over for a look, and look. There's a baby wood duck in there, it's tiny, there's probably more than one, but I'll leave that alone. Hopefully you can see it in the camera. But anyway, put the camera back on my head, and let's see if the night time soak worked. There was no yabbies in these yesterday afternoon, and they'd only been in for a couple of hours. Did any enter the nets overnight? Not much bait in there. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna say there's not much bait in this net, but there's enough to lure a few yabbies in. I'll put some water in the bucket. Right. We have yabbies. Not as big as I would have liked, but we have yabbies. There's so much slime and grime on here. I can't even see the. Uh, where's the door? Here it is. Right, what have we got here? I'll put them in the bucket for now. One, two, three, four. Three, four. I'll put them in for now. If there's no others in the other net, well, I'll probably throw them back. But the other net might have 20 nice-sized yabbies in it. We just don't know yet. I'll give this net a bit of a clean-up, and then I'll go and check the other net. <laughs> Righto, the second and final net. This had more bait in it. Will that mean there's more yabbies in it? We'll find out in a moment. Oh, there's a big black one. There was a couple in there. There's, oh, yes, look. There's a few and there's only three. They're good size yabbies, but there's only three. That's, that's a huge yabby, that one. My finger is just sticking through the side of the net there. <laughs> I hope he doesn't uh, grab hold. Right, let's get these three yabbies out. That's a lovely big black yabby. One, two, three. None of them have got eggs. That's the biggest one. I'll get a photo of him. Right, 
Right, well, I've got six in here, but that's not enough, so I'm going to put them back. Off you go. There's actually seven. I tried to get footage of them going back, but the biggest one here is a bit cranky. He just got to here and then stopped. Turn around, mate. There you go. <laughs> I've put them back because it's a bit early. It's only the middle of September. We haven't had some warmer weather, so I'm going to put them back now. Come back in another few weeks when it's a bit warmer and see if I can catch a, a, a few more and get enough for a feed. That's my first year being success for the spring. I'm excited. Things are only going to get better from here on in. Thank you very much for watching.